We're getting another new Assassin's Creed game potentially in the next 12 months called Assassin's Creed Nexus. This is a work in progress logo that leaked over on Reddit with a small tutorial video. It's namely a VR game that was already announced in September 2020 next to a Splinter Cell VR game, only we haven't heard anything since until now. A ton of new details namely got leaked including the fact that we will be able to play multiple assassins and other AC characters in one game. So there's really a ton to go over of course if you like the Assassin's Creed content here on the channel then leaving a like on the video only costs one second of your time would be amazing and let's go. According to Tom Henderson who you might know he leaked many things correctly over the last year including the fact that Valhalla would get a DLC in December and a massive expansion in March 2022 which of course turned out to be the Cassandra content and Dawn of Ragnarok. He also revealed a ton of skull and bones info 8 months ago which recently turned out to be correct and also recently talked about Project Q from Ubisoft for the very first time after which Ubisoft officially announced the game with a special artwork. So we now shared some info on this next Assassin's Creed game starting with the fact that Ezio, Cassandra, Connor and Hatem all make playable appearances on a variety of different levels. You start the game in that leaked tutorial to set everything up, calibrate your avatar, seems like there's also an option to enter the animus which sounds very interesting and from here you can also select the first mission called the Sword of Ezio. So yes, in this first mission we play as Ezio in Italy in 1509, so after Brotherhood and before Revelations if I'm not mistaken. So we only have the leaked footage of the tutorial, but according to Tom there should be a total of 16 individual missions with a tutorial to get you to grips with the game's controls. And I would imagine that every mission is linked to a set character and that we likely play Ezio a couple of times throughout the game, but we cannot switch to different characters inside a mission. And don't expect these missions to be open world by the way. Over on Reddit we got Ekakado who played a beta build of Assassin's Creed Nexus and also leaked the footage and other details including that missions are linear so no open world. The missions are fairly big and the backtracking is a thing. And that's likely because of the fact that we can pickpocket enemies so maybe steal a key to then open a chest we came across earlier. We can also lockpick chests and doors to get some extra rewards. In terms of overall gameplay, we should of course be able to use the hidden blades and they can be extracted by holding down a button and then flicking your wrist, which you can then also use to stab your enemies. Sounds really, really cool. Guards also die with one hit when assassinated, but they will require multiple hits if they are alerted. This could hint at hidden blade combat, which would be really cool, but we can of course also use a sword with motion controls to attack and defend, so with also multiple hits required to take out an enemy, and enemies should approach us one at a time, and overall the combat is timing based. You have to wait until your enemy lowers his cover and then strike fast. So pretty similar to other VR games. But next to the sword and hidden blade we should also be able to use throwing knives, smoke bombs, a crossbow and potentially more. So yes there are also options to remain in stealth which of course another important part of Assassin's Creed Nexus. Good to know is that there will be a dedicated crouch button and you can choose to either move with the analog stick which I think I'm going to do but there should also be the maybe familiar teleport system similar to other VR games like Fallout 4 for example where you constantly select a spot you will be transported to which might help with motion sickness. But you can also combine the two by the way so use the teleport feature to move through the level and then when you're close to an enemy you can for example use the analog stick to get close enough and assassinate them. Although you could also go for the teleport feature all the way but you will see a sound bar when using this to let you know if you are alerting nearby enemies if you get too close. For example teleporting 10 feet away from behind an enemy will create less sounds than obviously teleporting three feet away from them. Now this next part is very interesting and they also describe it as something that is really fun to pull off in VR, the leap of faith. So we of course have to stand in a T-pose for this and what you see here is a fan-made April Fool's Assassin's Creed Connect game video where they already made this joke because of course make sure you don't fall on your face but I really love how accurate this video might be for the things we will actually be doing in Assassin's Creed Nexus. Of course this is all a bit over the top 
but still, I think they might be onto something here. It also kind of reminds me of the Unity mod for Blade and Sorcery, where you can experience the Versailles map in VR and climb buildings, for example, which should also be the case in Nexus. And you, by the way, see some footage here from Untamed. But yeah, I would not be surprised if the Assassin's Creed VR game we're talking about here plays kind of similar to this, while of course being way more polished with better graphics, I would imagine. In a job posting that is live right now for an associate creative director for Assassin's Creed VR, they know that you will join a large-scale multi-studio project with the budget of a AAA production behind you and with the goal to deliver a benchmark title for VR and for the Oculus platform. So it seems like they got a pretty big budget with likely a significant funding from Oculus, so don't expect the game on other platforms, sadly, like PlayStation VR 2, although I would love to be wrong. It's just really awesome that we're finally getting an Assassin's Creed game that has been made from the ground up with VR in mind. Something that I always wanted after, for example, doing the Assassin's Creed VR experience, which was more like a viewing experience where you could see Aguilar perform some really cool kills and moves. It was really short though, like not even five minutes and again you could not actually play. They also did something similar for the Syndicate Jack the Ripper trailer and we have the Temple of Anubis which looks really awesome but this exclusive to a real life VR room so you have to go to an actual location in order to experience it. But the gameplay might actually be close to some of the things we can expect in Nexus, even though Bayek was sadly not mentioned as a playable character in the leak. They also made an Odyssey-inspired variant beyond Medusa's Gate, although again, not possible to play this at home. So that's finally going to change. The missions seem to be 20 minutes each, at least according to the Reddit leaker. So we're looking at a five to six hour game, which is average for a VR title and having short missions will mean that you can just jump in for a short time have fun and go back out as having the headset on for too long can not really be convenient at least in my experience and i also hope that the game has some replayable elements so that we have reasons to revisit some levels again so sources from tom henderson suggest that the game should be out in the next 12 months and we also had some big ss creed fans visit the dusseldorf development studio in 2021 likely to test the game like they did not say that they were going to play Assassin's Creed VR but that seems to be the only Assassin's Creed project they actually have in development at that studio looking at all the job openings so high chance that they actually got to play that and they should be able to tell more about it when the game officially gets re-revealed maybe already during the summer game fest in June when we know more I'll be the first to tell you here so totally subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed VR and of course the future of Assassin's Creed in general a like on the video would really help me out and check out my previous video Video on the Valhalla DLC that turned into its own game with the latest info on this potential Rift title. You can watch it by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.